I had an experience the other day with this song where the song literally spoke to me. It spoke to me. There was a reality bleed through effect. Quite common, a common characteristic of music when it really slays you. There's a reality bleed through effect where all of a sudden the music speaks to you. You know, the psychologist Jordan Peterson, he talks about these moments as moments where the objective world and the narrative world, the lyrical world, the poetic realm touch. When the objective world and the narrative world touch, music seems to literally speak to you. But how does this even begin to make sense? The song was recorded maybe decades before you were born, decades before this moment, decades before your particular objective biographical reality. And yet, somehow, as if in a dream, the right song in the right moment will speak to you. <sighs> what is this experience? Is this what they call the Holy Ghost? Is this a kind of healthy psychosis? A kind of waking up? into the topsy-turvy world in which music speaks to you like voices in your head? What do we speak of when we speak of these moments? When the objective world and the musical world and the cinematic world touch? Well, I think it's revealing of an archetypal kind of collective space in which we live, our mythic life, which sits above our biographical life. It is the life that is made real during a guitar solo. It is the collective effervescence, as Emily Durkheim described, that you feel among your compatriots during the climactic song in the concert that takes your breath away. The time of serious dancing. And in these moments, the music literally speaks to you. And every Every quality of its sensorial assault upon your senses fits your unfolding, fits your cognitive unfolding. In your mind's eye, the film is climaxing with realization. You're having a moment of salience. In cinema, we create montages to try to render, to showcase in an illustrative fashion the subjective experience when music speaks to you. Cameron Crowe, the filmmaker behind Almost Famous, the writer, director, and former Rolling Stone journalists, understands this well, which is why his film Almost Famous is a love letter, not just to music, but to the divinity that pulses through its melodies. Moments like sitting in the back of the bus singing, hold me closer, tiny dancer, among those you love the most or moments on stage, or moments in love, or when Penny Lane comes into your room wearing nothing but a fur coat and says, ladies and gentlemen, or the scene where she's roller skating barefoot in the afterglow of the previous night's concert while listening to the wind. It is these moments where music literally speaks to us, where movies literally speak to us. And I want to live there and bathe myself there and be filled to the brim with the beauty of life that opens up and transpires in these places and spaces. The truth beyond the literal grid. The thing which shall not be spoken because you have to go there to know there. What's it like to lose yourself in a guitar solo, dad, son? You have to go there to know there. One day it'll happen and you'll look at me and you'll know. So, I guess the question is, what are you gonna do with this information? You're gonna go out there and eat art the way that plants eat starlight? You're gonna go out there and live in your eyes and your ears like my buddy Jason Goodman? Are you just gonna eat the aesthetic realm? Are you just gonna live in the realm of aesthetic ecstasy and soft fascination? I say hallelujah, yes. Soul force, baby. Aesthetic arrest. The place beyond the literal grid. The edge of the wave, the tunnel, the flow, action, subject, and process become one thing. Whoa! Whoa! Your future's right in front of you. Your past is exploding behind you. Your footprints are being washed from the shore. 
It's a not depletive, non-extractive act done solely for the pleasure of the act itself. And that, and that is the destiny of man. 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 <laughs> Woo! You'll see the line, the line that's drawn between you and me. See the blind man shooting at the world. <laughs> Ooh, oh Lord, yeah, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> there's a star man sitting in the sky who'd like to come to earth, but he's afraid he'll scare you. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow,